In this video, we're going over how to use the Samsung Galaxy A10e for beginners. Hey guys, thank you for joining us today. If you want to stay up to date on all the latest new smartphones launching and learn cool tips, tricks, and hidden features, make sure you hit that subscribe button and tap on the little bell to turn on post notifications so you can be alerted every time we post new videos. Also, if you like winning cool tech stuff, make sure you follow us on Instagram at h2techvideos and we're going to hook you up on there as well. Let's go ahead and jump in and show you how to use the Samsung Galaxy A10e. We're going to start with just a tour of the outside of the phone and the buttons. So on the right side you will find the volume up, volume down, and the power button. And on the left side, let's see here, sorry just double checking. The left side here, this is the little drawer that you're going to um, put in your memory card um, as well as the uh, SIM card. And your phone should come with one of these little tools. You just pop it in, and that's how you pop in the memory card, just like that. All right, so this is going to be what's called the lock screen. I'll be referring to this uh, here and there. So you're going to hit your power button to turn the screen on. You're just going to slide your finger across the screen, and that's how you unlock the phone. Okay, one more time, turn it off power button to, to wake it up and just slide your finger across the screen that's going to wake up the phone and take you here. Now this is what is called your home screen and you'll have what are called applications or short for apps. These are the different programs that you'll find on the phone. So for example this is your call app where you're going to make a call. This is your text messaging app. This is Google Chrome. This is how you'll search the internet. And this is your camera icon, which takes you to the camera to take pictures. Up here is the Play Store, which is where you're going to download games or different applications you want on the phone. We're going to go over that a little bit later. And this is what a folder looks like. So when you tap on this, you can see all the different apps that are in that folder. Um, important app here is Gmail. So this is if you wanted to sign into your um, your email, you just open that app and sign in. And you can see all your latest emails and you can send emails. Got your Google Maps here so you can uh, look up directions and your YouTube if you want to watch videos. All right, now if we swipe up, so just take your finger and just drag it up the screen. So swipe up. This takes you to what is called your app, your app drawer. And this is where you find all the other different applications that are on the phone. So calculator for example, your contacts, your clock in case you want to set an alarm for yourself or a timer or a stopwatch. All that's going to be in that app. Now down here we have these three buttons and these three buttons are the main um, buttons you use to navigate the phone. So if you notice I was on the alarm here and then I tapped on stopwatch. If I tap this button here it basically takes me out of the app because it's, it's what's called the back button. So it always takes you back one step. Um, to demonstrate a better example of that, if I were to go to the settings app here and I were to tap on lock screen, and I, if I want to go back one step, I'm just going to tap the back button here and it takes me back to the main menu of the settings. If I tap it again, it will take me out of the app. So it always just takes you back one step. If I were to go to about phone and status, I could tap it once to get here, tap it again to get here, and then if I tap it again, it takes me out of the app. Now you also have this button here, which is your home button. No matter what app you're on, when you tap this button here, it always takes you back to your home screen. So if I go to the Galaxy App Store, home button, back home. No matter where you are, tapping that always takes you back home. And over here we have what's called the recent apps button. This will always show you the different applications that are running on the phone. So because I opened up the Galaxy App Store, it's now showing up under my running apps. And if I swipe to the right, I can see all the different apps that are I've opened and closed um, that are running. If I want to like fully close this app out, I just swipe up and that gets rid of it. Or I can hit close all and that will close all the apps that are running. And now I am 
back to my home screen. So these are the three buttons again that you're going to use to navigate the phone. Again, home always takes you home, back takes you back one step, and recent apps just shows you the apps that were running that you closed. It's also an easy way to get back to an app you were using previously. Just to give an example, I'm opening apps and purposely closing them on purpose so you can see when I hit recent apps, they're going to both show up in here. This is an easy way to jump back and forth to two apps that you're using at the same time. I could be doing a calculation in here, hitting recent apps, and go to the Play Store because now I want to download an app. So this is just an easy way to jump between your apps as well. All right. Now, if we swipe down from the top of the screen here, so go off the screen here and just basically swipe onto the screen, you'll pull down what is called the uh, notification panel. And this will always show you different things that are coming through your phone. So if you have a voicemail, it'll show you, hey, you have a voicemail right here. I can tap on that to get right to the voicemail app, for example. Um, it'll tell me different things about apps I've downloaded and give you other pieces of information. So this is a very useful section. Also, if someone were to send you a text message, that would also show up in this section. When you're finished reading the notifications, you can just swipe to get rid of them, or you can tap on them, and it will take you to whatever that application is to, to get more information. Okay? Now... Uh, an important thing to do when you're setting up uh, uh, any smartphone is to sign into your Google account. So we're going to go to the Play Store right here, this little white icon here. Now you have to sign into this if you want to download anything on the phone. So pictures, video, uh, an app, a game, you have to be signed into the Play Store first. So we're going to tap on sign in. And you give this a few seconds and then it's going to ask you to uh, put in your Google account information. But we're going to have to pause that really quickly because um, what you may want to do before that is sign into your Wi-Fi. Now, again, if you bought this phone and you have service, you can use uh, your mobile data to log into the Play Store. But if you have Wi-Fi, it's recommended to use that instead because um, Wi-Fi is faster. So we can swipe down from the top here and look for this little icon. This is your Wi-Fi icon. So I'm going to take my finger and just hold down on that icon. It's going to take me to the settings menu um, where you'll find Wi-Fi. And so I'm already connected to this network here, but for the sake of the, de the demonstration, I'm going to disconnect from it, f forget the network altogether. And let's say I just opened this for the first time and I want to connect to a Wi-Fi network. All you have to do is look for the particular network in this list here. So my Wi-Fi is called Team Rain. So I'm going to tap on that and then it will prompt me to enter a password to sign in to the Wi-Fi network. If you were at Starbucks or Denny's, sometimes they'll have a password that they'll give you or sometimes it's an open network, which means when you tap on the network, it'll automatically just take you in you won't have to enter anything so just FYI there all right we just put our password in we're gonna hit connect that's the final step to connecting to Wi-Fi and now you'll see it in this section under current network so now we're on Wi-Fi and we're on a faster setup and we're gonna hit keep Wi-Fi connection so this is done now I'm gonna hit my home button to go back to the main screen and go back to the Play Store. And now I want to sign in and I want to put in my Google account information so that I can start downloading apps on the phone. So we're just going to tap in this session that says email or phone. And uh, when you tap there, it should bring up the keyboard and you can start typing in your Google account. If you don't have a Google account or a Gmail, you're going to tap on create account and it will just ask you to put in your first name, last name, and pick an email address. So that's just if you don't have a Google account. All right, so we just put in our Google account information and we typed in our password. We're gonna hit next and it should sign us right into our Google account. We're gonna hit I agree. And once you've successfully signed into this, uh, you will again be able to start downloading games and apps. 
and you can also start receiving your emails on the phone as well so this is the play store here and it's really easy to download a game you just come up here and you just tap in the little search box now I can type in a game right here or I can hit the microphone and just say the name of the game words with friends you always wait for the beat before you start talking it does the search and then I can tap on this words with friends here and just tap on the install button and that's how easy it is to download a game onto your phone and it's the same process for apps as well so I'm going to use this back button here go back one step hit it one more time and I also want to download Instagram on the phone. So I'm going to tap that magnifying glass again, or excuse me, the microphone. Instagram. It'll do a search. It'll find it. I can tap on install. Now, just an important note, if you ever find an app that doesn't say install, but it has a price instead, that's how you know that it's not a free application. And you may want to think twice before you download it. Um, just make sure it's what you want before you download it. Uh, the phone will ask you to put in credit card information so it can bill you. And um, that's it. You'll download. So once we're done, we're actually done in here now. We're going to hit this home button down here to back out of here. We've already gone over how to sign to your Google account and how to download apps. The next thing I want to show you is um, signing in or creating a Samsung account as well. This is also going to help you with some things you're going to want to do on the phone. So tap on Galaxy Store. This is Samsung's basically app store. So you'll find other really cool apps here. Hit agree, start. You'll find other cool apps here and deals and they usually give away free stuff too. So you definitely want to keep an eye out on the Galaxy App Store. All right, so we go to the upper right corner here. There's a three dots. Tap on that and tap sign in. So there's a lot of perks to having a Samsung account. So if you don't have one, tap create account. If you have one, obviously tap here and enter the information. Or you can tap continue with Google and it'll basically use your Google account to create a Samsung account for you. So I'm going to tap on my Gmail here. I'm just going to link my Samsung account with my Gmail so I don't have to always enter both separately. And this is telling you that they're linked. You're going to hit allow. And it should sign us right into our account. We're going to hit agree all. I'm going to uncheck that box there. Oh. next so now our accounts are connected press ok we're signed in it takes us back to the galaxy app store here so now we're set we're signed in and we're open for all the new perks that should be coming for having that and the last thing i want to show you is if we go home and we go to the settings so swipe now from the top go to the upper right corner click on this little wheel that's your settings wheel All right, from here, we want to go to accounts and backup and backup and restore. And now you can hit backup data and it's going to back up all the information on your phone to your Samsung cloud account as well. So this is cool. If you ever get a new Samsung phone, you can just sign in and it will bring over the data from your old phone to your new phone. We just hit back up and that's it. It's going to automatically back up all of our data for us in the cloud. So there is that. I'm going to go back home. And the very last thing I want to show you before we close out the video is how to take a simple picture. So we're going to go to the camera icon at the bottom here. And it's real easy. You're just going to hit um, the little white circle that takes a picture. And if you want to switch the camera to the front, you hit um, this icon here. This will flip the camera the other way. And then hit that shutter button again. Flip back around again. 
And if you're ready to see that picture, just go ahead and tap on this little option here that shows you what you just took. And there's our picture. Okay. All right, guys, I hope you did find this helpful. Make sure you like, favorite, and share if it was helpful. We wanted to do just a nice, quick uh, beginner video and kind of walk through anyone who is new to this phone or new to smartphones in general and you just want to learn how to use this phone. That was the purpose of this video. So we hope it was helpful. Hit the like button, favorite, and share if it was helpful. Hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos. Take care and have a good one.